Hi everyone, Dr. Lee here from Your Vet Online, and in today's top tips, we're going to be talking all about choke and what you need to do if you notice that your horse is having problems and you suspect that they might have choke. This is a super scary situation, so listen up. Okay, the first thing you need to do if you think your horse might have choke is you need to remove all the feed and water. That's right, we don't want to give those horses any access to food or water because if you do and they do have choke, then quite frankly, you're going to make it worse. So number one, remove all feed and water and don't give them access to anything else. Number two, this is really important ring your vet straight away. Look, it's not an emergency like it is with humans. When humans choke, they often can't actually breathe. That's not the case in horses. However, we need to get that choke resolved and moved as quickly as we can because the longer that it's in that place stuck in the esophagus, the longer that it potentially causes problems in that area with the esophagus, whether it might actually cause necrosis, which means that it actually puts so much pressure on that spot that it causes the muscle to die. And of course, the other thing is, is that because you've got that blockage, any sort of liquids and fluids that are actually produced even just by the tongue and the mouth, you know, saliva, for example, can go down the wrong hole and go down into the trachea or the windpipe and that can result in um, aspiration pneumonia. So we definitely do not want that to happen. So number two, get on the phone and ring your vet and get them out as soon as you can. Number three, number three is basically keeping your horse calm and not stressed out. They keep them away from other food, don't let them eat, and you might have to have a friend there with them just to keep them chilled. Some horses really do stress out quite a lot. So yeah, you just want to keep them cool, calm and collected. One of the things uh, that you can try to do is you can try to massage down that jugular furrow and help move any of the product or any of the food that's stuck in there. But nine times out of ten that's a waste of time but it's something that you can do so basically number three don't let your horse stress out and number four and this is super super important don't attempt to remove the blockers yourself whatever you do leave that hose alone do not wet inside their mouth trying to get them to swallow and and make it go down with water like you might do yourself such a bad idea again this can cause aspiration pneumonia and it's something that I absolutely don't want any of you to try and do at home the other thing is whatever you do do not try and put the hose or any other stomach tube down your horse's um, esophagus if you haven't had prior training via a veterinarian. It's just too dangerous. So number four, don't use the hose and definitely don't try to use a stomach tube down your horse if you're not trained. All right then guys, that's the four top tips on how to handle choke if your horse gets it. Let's hope that this never happens to you, but yeah, it does. So if it does, you now have the top tips to make sure that you know what to do safely for your horse. I'm Dr. Lee. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss any more of our top tips. All right then guys, we'll catch you later. Bye.